Hey guys, some stupid sketch show guy here with another news video, and today's news video concerns five new Safari Limited 2021 reveals. And yeah, that number sounds pretty disappointing, and it kind of is, but due to COVID, Safari Limited has only pumped out three new normal Safari Limited figures, and two of a different style that I'm not exactly a huge fan of, as Safari Limited has made two Dino Dana figures which are interesting, to say the least, as both have medieval armor on them, which I think is an interesting choice. Unfortunately, the armor cannot be removed, which kind of sucks. But what do these Dinodana figures have to offer? Well, it's a new Triceratops and T-Rex. Not exactly anything that we haven't seen before, but they look alright. The Triceratops, I do enjoy the colors. I enjoy the peachiness. The peachiness is good, and the round on the top is also pretty good. But I'm not exactly a fan of the armor, and I don't like the horns. The horns are not exactly executed that well. But it's the better of the two Dino Dana figures. And then we have the T-Rex, which I think looks really ugly. I think that Safari Limited took a decade back when it came to their T-Rex quality. Because... Ten years ago, we had like a million different ugly green T-Rexes made by Safari Limited, and this one just blends right in. It looks like it was made by Safari Limited in 2007, not 2020, and it reminds me of a Mojo figure. It just, it, it's way lower quality, the detail's way worse, you know, it's a kid's toy, and I guess that's what they were going for, so good on them. You know, it, it's doing its job. But they still have three other more traditional Safari Limited figures that really bring up the rear. First up, we've got another Tyrannosaurid in Despletosaurus, and I like it. The orange is nice, and I do like that super darkish green. And the mouth pose, I don't know if this is just me, but it reminds me of the Toy Way. Tyrannosaurus, and I wasn't a big fan of that, but I think it's way better executed in this one. Good figure, way better Tyrannosaur than the other one. And the other two are Spinosaurids, and they are gorgeous. First, we got the big one, the big boy. We got the 2020 Spinosaurus. And you might be thinking, Sketchy, didn't you talk about their Safari Limited Spinosaurus two years ago when you were a little kid? Now, last but definitely not least, we have probably the most controversial figure on this list, and that is the new Safari Limited Spinosaurus. Now, Schleich also made a Spinosaurus for 2019, and surprisingly enough, Schleich's is light years better than this. But now they have a new one that's paleontologically up to date. It isn't in a swimming pose, it has a big, lovely, fabulous tail, and some lovely blue and brown. It is great. I like it. A lot. It is awesome. I am so glad that Safari Limited did this, and I think this is one of those times where, like, sure, we ha we had one a, f a few years ago, but you know what? This was definitely the Spinosaurus we, we needed. This is the successor to the Carnegie Spinosaurus. So thank you, Safari Limited, for this amazing figure. And then we have one that I think is actually a bit better. They're Baryonyx. This is another very appropriate redo, as we haven't had a Safari Limited Baryonyx figure since the 90s when they made that Carnegie one that is oh so classic. But now we finally got a worthy replacement. Not a Sukumimus, a real Baryonyx. And I love it. I think it's great. I really do enjoy the brown and yellow color scheme. I remember rambling about last year how Safari Limited messed it up when they used that color scheme on the Chianzausaurus, which, yes, I finally figured out how to pronounce it. And, yeah, my opinions have changed. I like that figure, but I think this figure is even better. This is a very, this is a huge improvement. A way better, brown-colored, safari-limited, long-snouted figure. I like this a lot, and I think it's actually even better than the Safari Spinosaurus. I think the paint application is just way smoother. It just looks great. The sculpt, really top-notch, 10 out of 10. Chef's kiss. And that's it. Those are all of the Safari Limited figures for this year. Not a lot, but I think that this is better than, than 2020. I, I believe that in just three figures, Safari Limited did way better than they did in 2020. 2020 was still good, don't get me wrong, but I just think that the Baryonyx, Spinosaurus, and even the Displetosaurus are just leagues better than anything from 2020. 2020 just didn't really have a breakout figure that was absolutely amazing. 
and Safari Limited had two in 2021. But that's just my opinions. Comment down what you think of the five Safari Limited figures this year, and see you guys next time.